Hey everyone, Jay Sankey here from the Inside Deception training site and the Sankey Magic YouTube channel. Uh, it's great to be back here on the 52 Cards channel. Asad, dude, amigo, thank you so much for having me back here. Uh, I've got something extra special for you guys today. For all of you who grew the ambitious card plot, this is for you. So you've had a card selected, any card, you've had it signed. Now imagine if you could do this, guys. Imagine if you could take a rubber band. You can do it at the beginning of your ambitious card, in the middle of your ambitious card, even close with this. It's that strong. Imagine being able to have someone take their signed card. You put it in the middle of the deck, and not only a moment later is it on top under the rubber band, but they even get to check. They get to look to see it's not there, and then a second later when you snap your fingers, they get to check again, and it's the signed card. Very, very cool. Now, the inspiration behind that, this, is uh, Daryl Martinez has a wonderful thing. Uh, called Ultimate Ambition. And uh, his is very cool. You should definitely check it out. It uses a gimmick pack and the whole thing. What I like about this is all you're using an ordinary deck of cards. They can be shuffled, freely selected, and a rubber band. That is it. So super portable, super magical. What's the work on it? Real simple. First, you need to know how to do the spread control. Now, let me show you this real quickly. I'm sure Assad on this great channel has already taught you guys how to do this. But if someone selected a playing card and they've signed their name across the face of it, as a nice final convincer, you can do this. And here's the way this works. They put it back in the card. You lift your hands to show them the card, okay? Now when I come down, I want to make it look like I go from here to leaving their card sticking out. That's what I want it to look. But with the convincing control, what it looks like, it looks very similar. It looks like I come down here and simply leave their card sticking out. But I've actually switched out their card for an indifferent card, and their card is on the bottom of the pack. Now, as I said, I'm sure Assad has taught you guys how to do this, but let me walk through it very briefly. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm showing their signed card, and my left thumb is going to hold not the signed card, but the card above it, that bottom corner of that. I'm going to hold it in place like this with my thumb right there. And as I lower my hands, here's the secret view. I'm coming down, leaving that card sticking out, and then their signed card is actually ready to be either slid to the bottom of the deck, right? Or in this case, I'm gonna slip it. I'm gonna basically slip it to second from the bottom, okay? It goes to second from the bottom. Performance speed. How's it look? Looks like this. They've signed a card. They put it in the pack. You take, put it in the pack, get yourself set up, show them one last time. I show them their signed card when I come down, as I said, I, I slip it out, spread out the cards, and I'm gonna slip their card second from the bottom. So it leaves me with an indifferent card there, and their card second from the bottom. As I square the cards, I'm going to do a half pass of the bottom two cards, okay? Which means at the back, I'm going to do, riffle off one, two cards, okay? So I get a pinky break. And then when I do an all-round square up, under cover of that, I've half passed the bottom two cards. What that means, the exposed view, is I'm going to roll with my first finger of my left roll it over the, double, the two cards and leave them there. And like I said, this is covered under the cover of an all uh, 360 square up, okay? And then I take the rubber band and I put it around. So you are, they think, okay, they just saw their signed card go in the middle of the pack. You even showed it to them. You put the rubber band fairly around and you are set to do this crazy uh, sort of ambitious card phase. I extend the pack and say, take a little peek under the top card. They do when they see an indifferent card. After they've taken a peek at the top card, now note the way my two hands, what I do, now you guys are going to see the locked off view, but I then kind of take my focus off here and I look the person in the eyes and say, do you have a good memory or do you have a good eyesight or hey, does he, and while I'm gesturing here, all I do is I come back and forward. And as I come back and forward, I've done the work. Remember, the two hands have to move together. I move forward, gesture, ask a question, get everyone's focus off here, or even just drop the cards to my side and then come up. And whether you want to do the large action, this thing, or whether you want to do the smaller action, uh, they've just checked whether you want to do the smaller action, which is like I said, is literally you're here, you drop both hands to your sides as you turn to say something to somebody, and when I come up, keep an eye, hand on, when I come up, I turn that hand over. Either way, a moment ago, they just saw the, uh, the sign card was not there, a little bit of misdirection, I come back, bring everything focused, have everybody burn, snap my fingers, and say, and I can either do it or have someone do it, I say, look, 
Do not freak out, okay? But you'll see on top of the deck, only one card, even though the whole thing was trapped in rubber, there it is, your signed card. That is the Rubber Room Rise, and it has uh, helped me, uh, you know, totally blow minds uh, many, many times. And for those of you who want to take your magic, mentalism, and pranking to the next level, definitely check out my Inside Deception training site, featuring 25 different categories of videos, including coin magic, card magic, mentalism, pranks, meeting women with magic and bars, and much more. There's also a forum area, monthly zine, and an exclusive download section where you can print out your own custom gimmicks.